wonder why the price of eggs is so high when it seems like wild chickens are everywhere in Hawaii? In part, it's because it costs a lot to ship chicken feed to the islands. Robert Olivier says he has a solution that restores the natural balance and can give us healthier, better tasting food. Hi, I'm Robert Olivier, founder of Protoculture, and at Protoculture we believe in challenging the status quo, and we do that by making animal feed in a non-conventional way. Uh, here in Hawaii, we're able to raise sustainable animal food by actually farming insects that then are fed to chickens and pigs who naturally want to eat insects. So what we're doing is we're raising insects inside of a reactor, and one of our reactors is as productive as an entire acre of soy in California. But unlike an acre of soy in California, we don't use any fertilizer, herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides. What we are using, though, is organic food waste. Our goal is to actually make animal feed on farm. So for example, a pig farmer that picks up slop can actually have our reactors at his farm. He already picks up the slop, but on a given day he has more slop than his pigs can handle, so he takes the best material and feeds it to his pig first, and he gives the seconds of the slop to the insects, where the insects then can take this lower value food waste, and they actually create high value insect protein and fats. Nature invented a species called the black soldier fly that is extremely efficient at eating all kinds of organic waste materials. But unlike nature, we didn't have to invent the species, but we do have to learn how to work with it. Obviously, people want to see the insects completely contained, so they'll be raised inside of a vessel. And then the vessel has to have all of the optimum characteristics for them to eat as much as possible. And so we promote beneficial bacteria, we set the right temperatures, we control all of the parameters necessary for this insect to thrive. So it's very similar like a beehive is to a bee. In other words, bees don't need beehives, but it's humans that need beehives so that we can get to the honey. And by placing our food waste in a reactor, we have a safe and non-smelly operation that can easily be scaled in order to affect how food waste is handled on the entire island of Oahu. And so this is our beehive, is our reactor. And our first reactors we call the Biopod. We haven't yet named the new generation. Uh, we're still testing it and it's doing phenomenal. The biggest challenge in Hawaii is producing animal feed because you can't grow $600 worth of corn an acre on a million dollar piece of land. But true commodities are being imported. Well, what happens is you need about 3.2 pounds of animal feed to make a dozen eggs. So eventually, every time that we get a spike in oil, more eggs come, the finished product, versus the feed. Because the feed is bulkier, weighs more, and it's not as valuable. So after a while, every farm operation that was dependent on animal feed has gone bankrupt in Hawaii or is, you know, struggling at the least. So by making our own feed, we are gaining not only our independence and resilience, but we're also creating an economic feedback mechanism that now if the price of oil goes up, guess what? Our local feed farm producers are going to have an advantage over the mainland because the mainland eggs are going to go up in price. So the entire goal of producing our own feed is that it brings back livestock, eggs, uh, meats, and then as those animals mature, they have manure, so that then can go and feed plants. Well, being part of the Energy Accelerator, we have uh, in, in the last few months adopted our first farmer in Waimanalo at Green Rose Farm. The second thing that we did with the Energy Accelerator was we did extensive customer discovery and went to go talk to the farmers and say, how do you feel about an insect feed? And the reaction was most surprising. We thought that the uh, pig farmers that would pick up food waste would become our biggest competitor and they would actually deny us access to food waste which is what we need in order for the insects to thrive. And the one feedback that we got back is saying, bruh, if you can half the cost of my animal feed, basically have a bag of feed at the same price as the mainland, i double my operation. And we've got only 50 to 60 uh, pig farmers here. However, the amount of food waste that these farmers could handle could easily become over 100,000 tons a year. And that saves a lot of food waste 